Have you ever had a really, really big dream? One of my big dreams is to be a swim coach because I just like seeing smiles on other kids' faces. Samantha Peshek had big dreams and she didn't give up on them either. She ended up going to the Olympics. Check it out in this book story, Little Girl Big Dream. Little Girl, Big Dream. The story of Olympian Samantha Peshek. Little Samantha Peshek loved gymnastics. More than toys, even more than ice cream. And that's saying something. When she was just five years old, she watched the Olympics for the first time with her mom and dad. Of course, her favorite part was the gymnastics competition. She loved the way the athletes moved on the floor, the vault, the uneven bars, and the balance beam. It was right then and there that Samantha had a dream, a big dream. I'm going to be an Olympian, she shouted. Her mom and dad said, dream big, Samantha. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Samantha thought, to be an Olympian, I must be the very best gymnast out there. So Samantha practiced and dreamed and practiced, and dreamed, and practiced and dreamed some more. She even had her mom help her hang the word dream up in her room, so she would never forget her big plan to be the very best. In her room, she would close her eyes and pretend to compete in front of the world just like the Olympians on TV. She told everyone she met about this dream. I'm going to be an Olympic gymnast someday. She told her teacher, her neighbor, kids at the park, her coaches, <laughs> the grocer. And that means I have to be the best. She'd let them all know. The more Samantha practiced, the better she got. She soon found she was great at all of the events, except for one, the balance beam. She would climb onto the beam, put her arms in the air, take a deep breath, bend her knees to jump, and then nothing. For some reason, she was too afraid to do it. This made Samantha very upset. <laughs> I couldn't do it, Mom. I have to be the best. <laughs> or else I won't be able to go to the Olympics. <laughs> Samantha's mom looked at her and said, you have to have the bad days to appreciate the good days. Dream big, Samantha. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. She remembered that when she went to bed at night, staring at the word dream on her wall. I can accomplish anything. I won't give up, no matter what. That meant it was time to keep trying at that scary balance beam. And with the help of her new coach, Peter, she finally overcame her fears. With Peter's coaching and her parents' love, Samantha felt unbeatable. Next stop, nationals. Or so she thought. When it was time to compete for her big chance, Samantha made a couple mistakes. 
she didn't make the team and became an alternate. Samantha was very upset again. Two little mistakes made her feel like one big failure. I'm so mad I didn't win. She mumbled on her drive home that day. Her parents looked at her and said, We don't love you because you win. We love you because we love you. Dream big, Samantha. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Samantha kept practicing and dreaming and practicing and dreaming and practicing some more. Finally, the day came. The day she had dreamed about since she was five years old. She made the Olympic team. She was all set to compete and be the very best when something terrible happened. Ah. While practicing right before the competition, Samantha hurt her ankle. Oh no. Samantha was very upset. And then she remembered her mom and dad's words. I have to have the bad days to appreciate the good days. I'm not loved because I win. I'm loved because I'm me. Maybe being the very best doesn't always mean winning the gold medal after all, Samantha thought. Maybe being the very best me today means supporting my team. Samantha cheered on her teammates during their floor routines. You can do it! She cheered them on during all of their routines. Yeah! Dream big, she told them. Yeah! You can accomplish anything you set your mind to, she said. Woo! And they did. Woohoo! Even with her hurt ankle, she was able to compete in the uneven bars. And it was her best routine ever. She stood on the Olympic podium and was awarded a silver medal. She watched as everyone cheered for her and for her team. Today, Samantha coaches kids just like you and reminds them to keep dreaming Keep practicing and keep supporting each other. Do you have a dream like Samantha? Samantha, go Samantha, go Samantha. I don't know about you, but I'm inspired to dream really big. My favorite part was when she hurt her ankle and she wouldn't let that stop her. So she practiced on the uneven bars and she got a silver medal. It made me feel kind of, this might sound weird, but kind of like bubbly and happy. Maybe I'll grow up to be a veterinarian. Maybe not a veterinarian, but maybe a swim coach.